I don't know about you, but I spend a lot of time looking for documents. Not only do I need to retrieve files for myself, since I manage a lot of projects, other people reach out to me for documents as well. So it's important for me to be able to find files quickly. In terms of organizing the files, I don't use elaborate tree branch structures, meaning I don't have multiple folders and subfolders as I feel it makes it more difficult for me to find the documents. If I have to think hard to decide which folders to save the files, it's very likely I won't remember where they're saved when I need them. So that's valuable time lost. Unless there's a clear rationale for saving a file to a specific folder, like a file belonging to a specific project, I save all files to a generic documents folder. I rely on the advanced index and search tool in Windows 10 to help me find the appropriate file without having to navigate manually through the folder structure. So for those of you who are new here, my name is Andy Park. I make videos about productivity. In this video, I'll share some of my favorite advanced search tips in Windows 10. The first thing we want to do is check our search settings. Let's hit Windows, Settings, then Search. Safe search is for web searches, so we can skip this section. We just need to ensure the cloud content search is enabled if we use OneDrive to store our files. It's optional whether we want to keep search history on this device. I just leave it on. Now let's choose searching windows from the navigation pane. Let's confirm that all our files are indexed. If the index is incomplete, we may not get accurate search results as some of the files we have on the computer won't be displayed. Then we can go to Advanced Search Indexer Settings. Here we can hit Modify and check or uncheck locations we want the index to include. For example, if you don't want to include Microsoft Outlook files in our search result, we can uncheck the box next to it. Okay, let's search for some files. I prefer to always start my search from the File Explorer. We can click on this icon or use the shortcut Windows E. Unless we know exactly which folder contains our file, we should choose this PC. This will ensure the search includes files on this PC, as well as the cloud accounts we have set up, such as OneDrive. We can enter our search terms in this box. Control F will place our cursor there. Now, typically when we search for a file, we'll enter all the keywords that we think are associated with that file. So for example, I want to find the file that I used recently to present an update on a digital printing project. So I would enter the keywords digital printing. If we look to the bottom left, we see that it found 244 items. That's a lot. We can narrow the search parameters by adding filters. One way we can do this is by using the search tool in the ribbon. As soon as we enter keywords in the search field, this tab becomes visible. One filter we can apply is date modified. If we have some sense for when the file we're looking for was modified, we can specify it here. I know that the presentation was this month, so let's choose this month. Now the items have been narrowed from 244 to 18. Now we're making some progress. I know that the presentation file was a document, so we can specify that filter under type. Nope, oh, that knocked out one item and we're at 17. Let's take a look at the size filter. I don't know for sure how large the file size was, so we'll skip this. Under other properties, we see an option for name. I know I would have used digital printing in the file name itself, so let's indicate that here. Remember, when we run a search, Windows is serving up keyword matches not only in the file name, but within the document content itself. So applying this filter will match the keywords only within the file name. We see that the result has been refined to just nine items. And I think from here, we can eyeball it and figure out which file we're looking for. Okay, so that was one way, but this is not the way I prefer to refine my search as there are many steps involved. If we look at the search field, we'll notice the syntax that Windows use in applying the filters. For example, the first filter we used was date modified. So the syntax is simply date modified followed by a colon followed by the value, which in this case was this month. 
If we change the value to this year, the result will update accordingly. Similarly, the second filter we use was the type. Here the syntax is kind, colon, followed by the value. If you were to close this search and start a new one, typing in kind, colon, pictures, it'll list all the image files we have. So rather than using the search tool to refine the search one attribute at a time, if we invest a little time to learn the search syntax, we can just type them in and really narrow down the search. This search syntax is called Advanced Query Syntax and is found on Microsoft's website. I'll leave a link in the description. Now it seems a bit overwhelming at first, but honestly, many of these are pretty intuitive and some of these are familiar to us already, like using Boolean operators like not and or and using asterisk as a wildcard. The only thing we really need to know is the name of the file property and the value. And that's also pretty flexible too. I'll explain what I mean. Going back to our search field, if you want to search for all the files that were modified in the last week, we can type just as we did earlier, date modified colon last week. But we could more simply type modified colon for the same results. And similarly for the values, instead of being limited to this week, this month, so on and so forth, we can enter exact parameters like greater than, than the date. Now this result looks messy since it seems to include some system files. Let's refine it by telling it we want just the Excel files. So we can enter type colon Excel, or we can simply enter type colon XLSX. Let's change it to PowerPoint by replacing the value with PowerPoint. We can even use attributes like slide count to narrow the search even further. If you know that the presentation we're looking for had more than 50 slides, we can use the syntax slides colon greater than 50. Get the idea. So even if you don't remember how we named the file, if we have other pieces of information, we can easily narrow down our search to find the file we need. Let's use one more example. I'm looking for a headshot that I took of my colleague. I don't remember the image format that I use, whether it was a JPEG or RAW. So let's just search for kind colon pictures. It found a lot of images, but many seems to be system assets. Let's filter out any images that are smaller than 3 megabytes, since the photo would be larger than that. And the picture was taken last year, so let's add another filter for taken colon last year. Oh, and just like that, we found the photo that I was looking for. Looks like I saved two versions, one uncompressed retouch image in TIFF and another that has been compressed to JPEG. So we can see that we can search for files beyond just the file name itself. There are properties within the file's metadata that we can use to really zero in on the file. So that's it. Armed with these tips, you should have no problem finding any file on your Windows computer. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks and bye for now.